hello there. Hey, can you hear me, everybody? Can you see the slide? Let me know. We can, everybody. Welcome, Melissa. Thank you. Hello there, everyone. Good afternoon. How's everybody doing? My name is Melissa Armo, and I own my own company called The Stock Swoosh. And today I'm going to give a little lecture here and feel free to write any questions in the room as we go along. Today we're going to be talking about how you can earn $300,000 a year day trading this system. And it's a system I've been tracking now. I tracked last year and I tracked this year, but I'm roughly around an 83% for this year so far for 2018 for win ratio. What, what does that mean? It means for every eight trades that you take of 10 trades, you can expect eight of them, 8.3 of them to be winners. <laughs> Excuse me, on the other 2.7 to be losers. So when I am calling the trades in the room, I'm saying the entry and the stop. So you have to put a stop in because if the trade does not work, you will be stopped out and you will have a loss. But you base that off of the expectation that eight out of every 10 trades will be winners. So that is a profitable system and that's what we're gonna talk about here today. If you have any questions, you can email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com. Feel free to call me at 929-3200-GAP. And let's get right into it. And like I said, if anyone has questions, just write it in the room and I can answer out loud as we go along. Okay, wonderful. So do you want to make money consistently in the market? It's the, it's the consistency that's key. That's what's really... Uh, the most struggle for traders is they some days they make money, some days they lose, some days they break even. But by the end of the week or the end of the month, they're really not moving forward enough. So it's really about being consistent. How can you go after the profits? Sticking to the same thing day after day after day after day is the way to do it. And that is exactly what I do. I'm looking for the same thing daily. And if I find it, I play it. And that's where the consistency comes in. And if there isn't anything good, if there is no good setups, if there is no good trades, then the key is what? Don't trade, don't do anything. Having the right focus is going to help you become less stressed. And one of the other reasons that I like to do my specific method, which is on gaps, which we are gonna talk about today, is because you don't have to sit in front of the computer until four o'clock. The market opens at 9.30 in the morning, and I like to focus on the time of the day between 9.30 and 10, between 9.30 and 10.30, the first half hour, the first hour of the day. And sometimes we're in and out of a trade in five minutes, two minutes, three minutes, 10. It doesn't even have to be an hour. But again, I focus on a set time of the day, okay? So if you're thinking about doing my method, you have to be willing to be at your computer at least, you know, between 9.30 and 10 a.m. Eastern time. And if you've been thinking about trading and you don't know where to start, I'm telling you that you can know nothing, nothing about charts or trading whatsoever at all and come and learn from me. And even if this isn't something that you wanna do as a career, it's extra money each month if you wanna do it. A couple hundred bucks a month. You don't have to risk the amount of money we're gonna talk about to make 300 grand a year. But if it is something that you wanna do for a career, that's the opportunities available to, for you and also many other opportunities you'll find once you learn how to do this very, very well. A lot of people, again, that are even our stockbrokers don't need, know how to read charts accurately. And really what I'm very good at is technical analysis. So we will talk about charts here tonight. And, and like I said, any questions you can write in the room. So one of the reasons that I'm successful is because I have a strategy. My strategy is based on stocks gapping. Now, for those of you that don't know what a gap is, it's a difference between the close and the open in a chart. So it's in a daily chart. So if you say you have Amazon, for example, closes today at a certain price at four o'clock, in the morning, tomorrow morning at 9.30, it's gonna open what? At, at, at a different price, or it might open at the same price, which won't be gapping, but chances are it will gap. It might gap up, it might gap down. And every day I'm looking for stocks that are gapping. And then I'm determining which ones are the good ones. Because not every gap is playable or what I call predictable. Meaning not every stock that's gapping can you predict the direction it's going to go in the day. But if you can, then you know where it's going to go. And you can take the trade and get in the trade before the move happens and make money. Okay. So that's what I do. I 
It's very simple understanding. In plain old English, I predict where the stock's going to go on the live day once the market opens at 9.30, and I predict it in the pre-market in the morning before the open. And sometimes you can do it at night, okay? Like right now, uh, there might be some things gapping tonight. I don't know. But stocks gap at night in the post-market. Stocks gap in the morning in the pre-market. I'm looking for stocks that have big moves so that I can play them for momentum. And all you really need is 50 cents, a dollar, two dollars, a good position in something. So if you don't know where to start, I'm telling you, you need to have a focus of a strategy. You need to have a focus of a system. It's very, very important. So for me, it's gaps. And like I said, it's, it's where they close and where they open. That's really all the gap is. But what I found is many people don't understand how to determine the move the gap will make up or down and if you're a person that's trading you have to be able to get in a stock in the right direction long or short or you're not going to make any money all right obviously if a stock price is dropping and you're long it you're not going to make money you're going to lose so if the stock price is dropping you need to be short it makes sense now i'm just going to talk briefly here a little bit a lot of people talk about making different specific amounts of money trading. Since we're talking about making 300 grand a year, I'm going to just break it down. It's approximately, and I'm roughing it out, about $1,500 a day, even though it's really a little bit less than that when you figure 20 trading days a month. There's, it's really about $1,500 you should estimate because of the fact that some days there won't be any trades. And then there's some days that the market is closed. Okay? So... The risk that you would need to hit these kind of numbers would be an advanced risk. You would have to be risking between $1,000 and $1,500 per trade to hit these kind of numbers to be making twenty-five grand a month. All right? There's a lot of places out there. I just copy and pasted one here. I'm not going to tell you what it was, but there's so many that make claims that you can take a small amount of money, like, like in this claim here, $250, bucks, and make eighteen grand. And I've seen even worse ones than this. I've seen some that say you can take $500 or $500 account and make 100 grand in a month. Those, those are crazy, crazy things. And I'm not saying they're impossible, but they're highly unlikely and quite frankly, irresponsible. It makes sense. It's common sense that you could take a set amount of money that's a thousand bucks or 1500 bucks and flip it around. What I'm trying to do is take whatever risk, this is whatever risk you can afford to take, or if you want to do an advanced risk of a thousand bucks or fifteen hundred dollars, if you can afford that, that's fine. You're taking the money and you want to flip it over. Whether you're day trading, whether you're doing options, whatever you want to do, you're taking the amount of money and you're going to flip it over once. That's your goal daily. So it's completely irresponsible to make these crazy claims, and people do. Earning three hundred grand in the market is not a crazy claim. Not when you're risking fifteen hundred dollars a trade. All right, it's totally, totally doable. You have to be focused. You've got to keep your losses down. You've got to be consistent with your wins. And the risk has to be there. You're flipping your money over. Okay, makes sense? And let me know if you have any questions. So basically, you're, you're, you want to put a stop in when you take the trade. It's a limit order stop. I say if you want to kill it and not use a, a, a kill it manually, you can if you want to. But I think that's problematic if the stock moves against you. You should look at your goals where you're chunking it out, all right? $300,000 a year is approximately $25,000 a month. Or again, like I said, around $1,500 a day or a trade, you're flipping it over, over, over. And there will be days when you will not trade. There will be days when you do nothing. And I'm not saying you start out with this advanced risk. I'm just using this as a gauge because that's the discussion here today. If you really want to trade for a career, if this is really what you want to do, and you need to be making six figures a year to be able to afford to sustain yourself and quit your job and do this, that's where you want to be. It doesn't mean you have to start out at this level. You could start out risking $500 a day, flip it over, flip it over, and grow your account and get to the point where you can risk this. Now, I'm going to go over two things. Today, I'm going to go over an option trade, and I'm going to go over a day trade. Two examples here of how you can use the system. Here's a chart of Netflix. Now, I'm going to go over what a gap is here. I briefly explained it earlier. Now, I'm going to show you on a chart. 
A gap is when the stock closes at a set price and opens at a different price. Netflix gapped up. This was the earnings that happened here. Stock closed here around 225-ish or whatever it closed the night before the earnings. I forget exactly. Right around this level. It was even 230. Then it gapped up. Had the earnings. Gapped all the way up two, in the 250s. Okay? So Netflix gapped up. You would be looking to do what? You would take my system and you would qualify this gap if you did my class and learn the system. It's a 26 point rating system. You determine if you're gonna go long this or short it. Guess what? It was a long. So I called it, I called a bunch of option trades in this. Actually, I've lost, I've lost track, but there's one on right now I'm gonna talk about. But anyways, this ran up. So this was a long. So you would buy calls in Netflix and you would get the run up and you could have made money here. And this was one of the trades I called. Now the one that's on right now, I called here and it's working. It's an option. I called the 300 strike options out for 316, which is next Friday um, in Netflix. Today, it went and blew all the way up over 314, 14 bucks for this strike. And that is how you make money, people. You make money playing the momentum and the momentum at Netflix is up. Why is it up? Because the stock's getting bought. Stock is making new highs. Stock is making brand new all-time highs before the market even. Market rally today, that has nothing to do with Netflix. Netflix is higher. Netflix made a new high on Friday. So if you come and learn how to make money in the market for me, you're going to learn how to read a daily chart like this to determine how you can take a position in something like this and when to do it and where it's going to go to know what numbers it's going to hit to get the momentum correct in it okay to be able to make money the stock's getting bought it's higher and i said this in tv a couple weeks ago actually netflix is one of the strongest things in the market one of the strongest things that's out there in the market okay so this was an option trade so the cost of one contract was approximately $6.50, which is basically a hundred, like if you had 100 shares of the stock, but the benefit of doing options is that you just pay the cost of the position. So it would have been 650 bucks. If you sold it today, you would have sold it what? For around 1950, profit would have been what? $13. You could have made $1,300 on a risk of 650. And Barry, I see you here tonight. Are you seeing this trade? And Galahad too. This is a good risk to reward. Anyways, the point is you're playing momentum. You're playing momentum in the stock. It's momentum trained based on the reading of the daily chart. I'm reading the buying is going to come in. I'm reading ahead of time before the momentum comes in that it's going to come in. And that's the beauty of what I do, and I do it very well, and that would be the reason you come and trade with me. Because if you did the option call I did here, the stock was right in the day. I read the momentum will come in before this happened. If you did the trade in here the day I called it, I read that this would happen before it happened. Boom. Okay? So reading and predicting the move a stock is going to make before it does it so that you can take the trade and get in is how you're going to make money. And you put an extra zero on here, or if you can afford it, if you could afford it to buy 10 contracts of this, which would have been $6,500, guess what? You would have made $13,000. $13,000 on one trade, which is phenomenal, okay? And you can do it. You can do it if you have the money to risk. You can do it if you're taking my calls. It is a way to make money, but you've got to strike. Strike when the iron's hot, all right? Any questions? Now we're going to look at a day trade. A day trade is an equity trade where you take it and you get in and you get out. It's a same, same concept. You're looking at the gap. Same system that I use. Okay, and the example here of Foot Locker, though, this is a short. So Foot Locker gapped down. Closed here, gapped down, boom. Here's the drop. Foot Locker had a huge drop in the day. More than two bucks. All right. So you strike where the iron is hot. The stock closed here the night before up at 46, boom, open in the morning, here around 40, whatever. And then I predicted it would drop, and it did drop, so you short it. Now let's take a look at it. <laughs> and any questions from anyone as I'm talking here? Now this is a one minute chart. So this is not an option, it's a day trade. You take the position, you get in, you get out. You get in, you get out. Again, play between 9.30 and 10. So Foot Locker, 
short it, you get the drop. Short it, you get the drop. No matter where you get out, anywhere in here, anywhere in here, anywhere in here, it's a nice trade. Okay? So this is the move that you want to get. Day after day after day, I'm looking for it in stocks that are gapping. How do I know it's gapping? I can see it here in the daily chart. I see this in the morning in the pre-market or at night if it was a night one. I think it felt like it was a morning one. But anyways, closed here, gap down. One minute chart, the bars are behind the clock up here into the close, which you can see where it was around 4580, boom. Open in the morning, down here around 40-ish or whatever it was. You strike it. Everyone in the world can see it's down by 10 o'clock, 1030. So I'm capturing this move, not the late move, which is where all the profit and money in is. And then you can, you can decide if you want to get in or you want to get out quick or hold. Entry for the shorts, 4050. Share quantity, 2,500, boom. Profit into the drop. I'll go back and show you the chart in a minute. 1,750 bucks. Now, I'm breaking down the buying power because people ask, well, how much money do you need? When you're taking equity trades, you have to have margin. You're trading on margin. So buying power needed is what? 81,000 in reference to this position here for 2,500 shares of the Foot Locker. In a retail account, you would need $20,000, $250,000 in cash. In a profit account, you need less, $8,100, just so you know, FYI. Different types of trading accounts for day traders. You can Google online. If you don't understand about these, you can read about them. It doesn't matter where you go as long as you can actively day trade and also take short positions because Foot Locker was a short. But this trade was so fast and so quick. So fast and so quick for the money. Look at the move. In, out, in, out. It was less than 30 minutes to be in another trade. And it did continue. You could have held it longer if you wanted to. You could have made more. But that's not your goal. If your goal is to make a thousand bucks a day, if your goal is to make $1,500 a day, if your goal is to get in before a certain time of the day and get out, then once it gets to the first move, the first target, you take it. This is part of the consistency that's something that I do extremely well as well. I'm focused on the time of the day. I'm focused on getting in. I'm focused on getting out. I'm focused on the targets. I'm focused on the direction. I'm focused on the gap. I'm focused on one ticker symbol, Foot Locker, Netflix, whatever, okay? Any questions? But the whole purpose, the whole philosophy behind all of this is the gap itself. And that's really where I'm able to predict what it's going to do. I see the gap. I'm not predicting that Foot Locker is going to gap. In fact, Target is earning tomorrow morning. I have no idea what Target does. Target might gap up, Target might gap down. I don't know. But I do know that when Target reports is going to gap, and then I will use my system and apply it before the open and rate the gap and determine if Target is a buy or Target's a short. Or maybe Target isn't anything. Maybe it'll be crap. I don't think so. I think Target will have a trade in it. Okay. Any questions so far from anyone? This is totally doable, particularly in a prop account for many, many people. And again, if you can't afford eight grand in a prop account, you can open up in a prop account with $2,500, but you certainly can't risk uh, this amount. You would have to take less. You would take, instead of taking 2,500 shares, you take 500. But it doesn't matter. The idea is you got almost a buck out of this. And if you held it down, you could have almost got two bucks. I just didn't want to hold this one late. But it did go almost all the way down to 38 bucks. Low in the day in Foot Locker on Friday was 38.17. It's the idea that you're making money Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. It's the consistency, okay? That's the purpose of having a system in the first place. And if you have a system and you learn it and you know it and you believe in it, you have conviction in it, you're going to be able to profit from it if it works, which my system does. I've taught quite a few people. I've had the business down for over five years and have been trading now. I started trading 2008, so it's 2018. Ten years. Ten years is a long time to do one specific strategy, one thing. That's all that I focus on. That's all that I need. It's all that you need if you want to come and learn to trade for me. People go all over the place. I've even found that people have come that are in my room get sucked into looking at other things. And that's crazy town. It is so hard for people to focus. So hard for people to focus their brains. Take a vitamin. I don't know. Do some meditation. People must focus. You only have to focus for half an hour a day. That's all that you need. 
whatever it takes. That This is the way that you're gonna make money as a trader and it's not that hard. And if you're, if you're following me in the room, it's really not that hard, okay? But I can tell you right now, if you're not focused on a set strategy, if you're all over the place or doing different things every different day and trading differently every single day, you're not gonna see the success and you'll never be able to make a dime, let alone 300 grand a year. But if you can do it well, if you get really good at something, if you are laser focused like a, like a knife, okay, on cutting the cheese, you can make this kind of money. You can make more. The sky is the limit. The focus is what it requires. Any questions here? I feel like I'm talking very fast tonight. <laughs> Anyways, I love training gaps for a million reasons, which I could talk about all night, but one of the reasons is the risk to reward, okay? To turn something over and flip it over a set amount of money or even more than that, like you saw on the Netflix option, is, is extremely rewarding. And it's the time of the day that I like to do it. It's the amount of money you're flipping over so quickly. So the risk to reward is there. Are you risking money when you take a trade that you possibly could lose? Yes, that's the only way you take the position, but it's worth it if you know that the system has a high win ratio and that you will take that money and be able to flip it. I mean, unless you're gonna go gambling at a casino, I mean, and that has crappy odds. You know, you can't go and say, well, I'm gonna bet a thousand bucks on, on roulette and turn over that thousand dollars. No, that's not likely. When you take a trade, you're looking to flip your money around 100% in one trade, at least minimum, and sometimes more. And those are great odds. So is also having an 83% win ratio system. All right? And I direct people in the training room. So if you come and learn from me, you're eligible to join the live trading room. It's only for students, though. And obviously, the money is good. The money is good. The money is fast. The only thing that's different from someone that makes $100 in my trading room on a trade or 1000 is the fact that the share quantity, the share size, <coughs> which is based on your size of your account and also your own risk level. How comfortable are you taking risk? Even if you had 100 grand in an account in cash, would you be willing to take the risk? I don't know. You know, that's different people's different personalities and what they have, what they're willing to risk and things, okay? But the profits can set up very quickly and come very, very fast. And that's one of the best reasons to trade gaps. The time of the day is early in the morning. I'm in Eastern time zone in New York, which suits me well. Uh, some people like it on the West Coast because they get up early before they go to their job and they, they teach themselves how to get into that groove of getting in and getting out quick and they go off to their job. I tell people, don't quit your day job until you can prove to yourself you can do it. Be consistent for several months and make the money that you need to make to support yourself. But the consistency is absolutely key and the focus on learning one thing. And like I said, you know, I really do prefer to short for the day trades. And one ticker symbol a day is what I find is the most successful. If, 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 you, if you're in the room with me, and many of you have ever done a trial or whatever, if I'm doing more than one ticker, ticker symbol in a day, chances are I'm not having a good morning. Chances are that's one of the one or two days a month that I'm not having a good day. It's one ticker symbol, one trade, plop on the size, one time frame, one directional bias. I never go long and short the same stock on the same day, never, okay? You can't have 100% conviction something's a long and a short in the same day. That's crap, okay? Something is either low or higher, and that's it. It's either getting bought or it's selling off, okay? Anyways, I, I do find gaps is very efficient because of the moves that they make so quickly. You don't have to wait, 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 wait. The stocks are gonna set up by 10 a.m. if they're gonna set up at all on the day of the gaps. And if they don't set up by 10, they're not gonna, or they're not gonna work right, or they're not gonna have a big move. So in that sense, trading them is very efficient. You do have to know what to look for. That's what you'd come and learn from me. But I find that is a great way to trade because if I just sat and watched something trade for an hour, two hours, three hours, four hours before I even take a trade in, I go bonkers. I don't have the patience to do that. My time is very, very valuable. And I really love the fact when I'm looking at gaps that the, that the moves happen quickly. Like I said, targets tomorrow morning. I don't know what it does, but I bet it has a quick move. If it does set up with a good gap, it will move fast. That I can tell you. Anyways, this is an old chart of uh, A and F, which I just want to show you again. 
the time timeline here. Here's the open at 930 and here's 10 o'clock. So you see the move that this made all the way down in here. I'm usually looking for something to move a buck within the first hour of the day. You're looking for a dollar. That's ideally, you would get that. And again, I'm not talking about stocks like Amazon, which I don't day trade. Those are the ones we do for options. You'd be looking for bigger moves and things like that. But for the in and out the day trades, most of the ones we do, you're looking for a buck, okay? Within the first half an hour, hour. And that helps you make the money and then make the profits quickly so you can get out. It's not that some of these stocks don't go all day. Sometimes they do. Sometimes you can play them down into lunch. Sometimes they can go all day. But, I mean, Walmart was one from a couple of weeks ago that went all day. Walmart really continued down. Down, 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 down. Walmart broke 90. That was a huge, massive trade. That was a great put option. That was a great day trade several days. Usually, though, you want to get in and out fast. If your job for the, if this is really going to be your job, you're going to make it for a living, whether your goal is to make 300 grand a year or even more, you really have to take it seriously when you're up the money that you need and you can't let that retrace against you. If you're in a short and it's going down, down, boom, and all of a sudden you're up 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, you don't want it to start flipping and then all of a sudden you're, you're up only 2,000, 1,500, you know. You have to watch what's going on in your chart. We have the targets, you'll learn them in the class, but you have to watch it, watch it, watch it. You can't let your goal for the day back up on you. If your job is to go in, and make 1500 bucks a day, you do it, and you watch it, and when you're up, poop, take it. I always say to people, no piggy targets when you're doing these things. Anyways, here, this is an old chart of HRB. Actually, is this out this week? I think this might be out this week. Um, I think it is. Anyways, this, again, look at the move. High up in here was rent 23 something, low in here was rent 20 something, two and a half bucks, boom, boom. Time of the day, first hour. Look at that. <clears throat> this is what I call the money move where you're getting it. You want to be in the right direction, it's a short. And you see the lift in here when you have the green bars, the stock's lifting, people are trying to attempt you to buy it here. wrong -o. it's a short. So you have these pushbacks, sometimes it happens. That happened actually at the beginning of the day in Walmart. People tried to buy the open into Walmart that had day traded into the prior support and they got creamed, broke. We shorted it up in there and it broke, broke the low, fell. You have to know, you have to know, is this a short or is this a long? Because you're going to lose money if you get in the wrong direction. Any questions from anyone? It's a quiet group here tonight. No one has any questions so far? I see new people. <laughs> Anyways, really all you need is one trade a day. One trade a day. One, one, one. That's all that you need if you want to do this for a living. That's all that you would even need to make 300 grand a year. You just plop it on with the size. So once you get good, you've got the money in the account, you can do it. And sometimes people want to wait to save till they have all kinds of money to start trading. That's not necessary. Trade with what you've got. Learn how to do it while you're making money. Even if it's not $1,500 a day, trade with what you have. Make it work for you so that you can move into that next phase of your life. Sometimes we want, people want to wait till everything's perfect. Everything's perfect. Everything's fabulous. Everything's perfect. You know, it's, you know what's perfect? Perfect is right now. Perfect is this moment. You're here with me right now. You met me. You even know I exist. This is perfect. This is a perfect opportunity because I know, I know what the heck I'm doing with people. For those of you that don't know me and those of you that are here that do, you know I know what I'm doing. So the perfect time is, moment is now. To say, well, I'll wait to have this much money and 100000 and this and that and I have a weekend off and I have food to do to, it's never going to happen. Trust me when I know. I've, I said that. I said that about TV. I, I delayed my own career in TV because I wanted the website to get done before I got on TV. The new website, which still is not done, <laughs> by the way. That was crazy. I delayed it by several months. It, there's The perfect time is now. When the opportunity comes, you take it. All right? Take the opportunity when it's there. The perfect time is now for you to change your life. For you to do something different, for you to start making money, for you to like what your job is and like what you do. Uh, Mark P is asking a question. 
What about the stocks on your watch list you did not like this morning? What, what about them? I didn't like anything this morning. What's your point? I liked nothing. If you were there this morning, you know that. I don't think you were though, Mark, were you? <laughs> I liked absolutely nothing this morning. Zippo. Zippity doo dot A. I said the market was going to hold, but the market gapped down. Uh, so there was no way to call it long. Market rallied all day. There were no good shorts. There were no good longs. Netflix option was already on. I didn't call a new one. There was nothing. What didn't set up? Um, here, I can pull up a chart really quickly. I don't want to get too off target. Um, QCOM was one we watched. I, I never even, I forgot about it. Here, let me look at it quick. I didn't like it. And it didn't work. So thank God we didn't do it. <laughs> and there you have it. <laughs> in fact, something insane -o happened here. This looks like scary town. I have no idea what this is. Here, 245, it had a big spike, then it fell off again. This looks like Danger USA. I, I don't know. This was the only thing that was gapping down this morning that I even took a took a look she at, but it didn't rate well. Didn't rate where I put my system to short, so I, we didn't do it. We didn't do it, I didn't call it, I didn't look at it, I said stay away, there's nothing good, don't do crap. The, look at what this did. It did nothing that made any difference, and then this was crazy, and this looks like news, but I don't know what it was. That's the only thing that was even worth looking at. But I, I, I rated it. It didn't rate well for my system, so we did not do it. And I don't even think there was any longs. And off the top of my mind, I can't think. Galahad, if, if there was longs, you can write it in the room. I don't think there was. Oh, you know what? GPS, I said you could do as a continuation. Hold on. That was a continuation from Friday. I did not look at that. I said you could watch that if you want, but if you have to be trading all day, it didn't go anywhere yet. This looks like it still might be higher, but it's taking forever. This wasn't good here. This tried today, didn't do it. That was, it went nowhere. Nope, that was the other long I looked at and there were, that wasn't good enough either. Um, okay. Anyway, it's all about the quantity of the share size, but it has to do with the quality of the gap. So I have a 26 point rating system. It's gotta meet the criteria, 20 points or more. If it's under 20, then you don't do it. That's the rule, okay? So you rate the gap. If it's good, you watch it, you take the setup. You're looking for a buck if you can get it. Sometimes we get a small stop and we can make the money even in a 50 cent move, okay? But know what you're looking to do with the share quantity. Know what you're looking at risking. Know what profit is your goal, all right? It's very, very important to have goals. You have, have to have goals. If your goal is to make 300 grand a year, then you break it down, you have to make approximately $1,500 a day. Well, how are you gonna do that? If you gotta risk $1,500 a day to make $1,500 a day, well, how are you gonna get to that point? Well, you need to count with this much money. Okay, how are you gonna get it? Well, you can work, 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 or save it for the next 10 years, and it won't be teaching the class anymore, and you'll miss the opportunity, or start out small, open a small account, build it up, make 100 bucks a day, make 50 bucks a day, make $200 a day, work it up, work it up to the point six months from now, you can risk $1,500 a trade, and then you're making it, and then you know the system too, look at the back of your hand, just like me, okay? Start at a place where you are moving towards your future, whatever that is. And it will all come together. Trust me when I say we'll just all magically come together. So many people talk themselves out of things and they're so negative in their head. And, and, and there are trainers, and I'm not going to say anyone's names, but there are traders and two are here tonight that did not do the Netflix trade. And the two people that are here tonight, they would have loved that money in that trade. And they didn't do it. They talked themselves out of it. You can't talk yourself out of opportunity what's in your face. And learning from me is an opportunity. It just is. And the calls I'm making this year are fantastic. And it's an opportunity. And I'm giving it, I'm giving them to the people that are my students that are there. Take the opportunity. Make the money. I'm, I'm telling you. So I focus on the time of the day. I think I said that before. And what are the benefits? Well, the benefits are <laughs> you can work from home. You can take vacations when you want. Uh, usually the market's closed around the holidays, which is nice. Market's closed every weekend. That's good too. And your income is determined only by your experience and your risk amount, which is what you can afford. Okay. Any questions from anyone else? Any questions from anyone at all about anything I'm talking about here tonight? 
So anyways, the class is this weekend. It's called the Golden Gap Course. It's a 26-point rating system. It's the same thing I use for the options as I use for the day trades. It measures gaps by rating them with a daily chart to find stocks to trade that have a high probability of directional bias for the entire day, a big move in the day, an early confirmation of the bias in the move between 9.30 and 10, and precise entries with follow-through and a good risk-to-reward potential, which is what you want. And my suggestion is to look for a flip around of 100% of each risk amount that you take. Okay? That's what you want to do. Flip it over. Any questions from anyone at all? Anyways, sometimes people come in and they do the trial and they and they help them make the money for the class. In fact, Mark, I think you're the Mark that was in the trial last week. You were. Mark told me on the phone today that he made over $3,000 in the open house last week. So he's almost there for the cost of the class. If you'd like a trial for the trading room, you can email me at melissa at the stockswoosh.com. You can have a trial for this week. Um... I, I really suggest people listen to what I'm saying when I make the calls, if you come into the room in the trial. It is important to learn how to do it before you actually, you know, start to trade, I think, with any size. That's why I require the class before you sign up for the room. But once you know what to do, the money just comes easily. If you question yourself, if you get in your head, if you don't do all the calls, you're, you're going to regret it. I mean, that's the best thing that I can say. You have to get in a positive, positive mental state, and you've got to be consistent. Not all gaps are created equal. That's the best thing I can say. And that's one of the reasons that I focus on that morning time frame. And actually, Foot Locker is a good example of that because Foot Locker fell all the way down close to 38. And if you had in your mind target 38, it got within 17 cents of that and completely retraced in the day. I was surprised the way that Foot Locker closed so strong on the day. But it did. And if you're up all that money in the morning and you didn't get out looking for a piggy target of 38 or below, you would have retraced all the profit. Okay? So you have to set targets and you have to set goals. Part of it is in chart and part of it is in money. Part of it's the dollars and cents. And if your goal is to make $1,500 a day, that's what you're looking at. And I usually get out pretty quick nowadays because I'm so busy with doing stuff on TV in the afternoon. But, you know... You can watch something if it's still going. I suggest you lower your stop, though. But I truly, truly, truly believe the morning is the time to trade. Any questions from anyone at all? The purpose of this system is to help you evaluate which gap to trade each morning using a checklist. The checklist tells you what to trade when and in what direction. The 26-point checklist predicts directional bias in a stock chart. It's the only system I do. I, I don't need anything else. I'm reading institutional money. That's what you learn in the class. I'm reading who's buying and who's selling. It's institutions. It's not traders. Sometimes traders play gaps as these gap fills. They do not work consistently, okay? And honest to God, you have to see who's buying and see who's selling because that's the only way you're going to make money. And when you see something like Foot Locker that's getting dumped, dumped on the day by institutions, that's what you want to short. Or if it had been getting bought, but in that case, it wasn't getting bought. It was getting sold off. So institutions were selling Foot Locker, and we shorted it, okay? All right? Any questions? Anyways, if your time of the day schedule fits, you can trade between 9.30 and 10. Then you're able time-wise to trade my system. You have to learn how to trade in the one-minute chart, which I teach in the class. You'd work from home, or you can do it from your office if you're allowed to sign in on your platform and be in the room. And really, the amount of money that you risk is only has to do with really how much you are have in your account size for the share quantity and what you can afford to, to take. Most of the stocks, I will say, though, are not over 100 price points. I mean, we looked at the Walmart <clears throat> that was around 95, but most of the stocks are anywhere between 10 bucks and I'd say $65 or something. Like, we'll, we'll be watching Target tomorrow, which is over 70, but it's we usually don't do very, very expensive things. And you can get huge moves and things around that $40 price point, like you saw. Any questions from anyone? Anyways, I have a system at work, so I teach everyday people. You do have to listen to what I, what I do. Galhead's in here, he's a student of mine, he does not listen to what I do, but I, I'm telling you, there's some people that are doing amazing that listen to what I say. 
And I think that, you know, you really, really, really got to just kind of put your all your thinking aside about uh, where you came from the past and kind of just, you know, decide to trust me that I know what I'm talking about and you take the trades. Okay. Shall I teach a class? It's this weekend. It's March 10th and 11th. If you're interested, you can email me. I'll send you the information to sign up. Cost of the class is $54.99. If you want to come into the room this week, email me at melissathestockswish.com. You can do a trial this week before the class. Like I said, Mark's already made money being in the open house last week. Um, if you want to come in and take the trades, it's up to you. I don't suggest you do that, though, if you don't know how to trade. But I will make the calls. I will make the picks. I don't know what Target does until the morning tomorrow. Um, but, I, you know, I've been doing this for a long time. And I'll tell you that it's, it's just about the focus. <laughs> Mark, I sent you the room link for, for the week already. You should have it. Mark's going to try to make the money before the class. He's two grand away. Any questions from anyone at all? Any questions from anyone? I think it's going to be a good, a good week. There's a lot of big names out this week still. It's the end of earnings season, but there's a lot to look at. Um, and over, I mean, it's just been such a great year. It has been such a great year. And I'm just going to continue to stay focused. Today we did nothing that was the right thing to do. Everything was crap. Um, and as long as I get up in the morning, focus, focus like a laser, it'll be good. There. Why don't you answer that, Galahad? Yeah. Why doesn't Galahad listen to every trade if he sees the system work? I don't know. I'd like to know. He, because I can tell you exactly why. He did CMG, the trade is down. Instead of killing it and throwing the money into something else or just taking his loss in it, because he obviously doesn't want to wait till June, he's stuck on that trade. That trade is down. So every trade I've called since then, he hasn't done it. So he's missed all this opportunity to make all this money because one trade he's in out till June isn't working. It may work, it may not work. Who knows? It's March 5th. But because he's down in that trade, he hasn't taken any of the calls that I've made. How stupid is that? Exactly. So, I don't know. Do you want to answer that, Galahad? Why didn't you do Netflix? Why don't you answer the question to a stranger since you can't answer it to me? Don't tell me that you didn't do this trade because of CMG. I want to know why you didn't do this trade here in Netflix. Why don't you give Mark an answer? Because if you had taken two contracts of this, you would have been up $2,600. And I don't think you risked $2,600 in CMG. And you're having... A conniption about that one trade now has prevented you from losing. Listen, this is, I'm just going to say something so important that I know where I'm almost out of time. Galahad is a perfect example, Mark and everybody else that's here, of someone that takes one negative thing and allows it to control and prevent all the positive things from happening to him. So you have one negative thing happen to you, and this could be anything. You could take a class and pay money for it in the trading world and not learn anything from it. And then guess what? You might come to me and not want to take my class, which would make you successful and take my calls because of one bad experience. You might have one losing trade that doesn't work out, and then you don't take five winning trades that work out because you had a negative experience and one losing trade, and now you're scared and don't know what to do and you don't want to lose money. Do you see how you can't take one negative experience and let it affect the rest of your life? And I'm just talking about trading. I can give other examples in reference to trading, but trust me, I've talked to enough people and have experienced this myself. If I ever would have said that or done that or quit, I never would be at this point in my life. So the bottom line is one negative experience should not define you. And Galahad lets that happen. So that is probably my best analysis of him. <coughs> I want to know why you didn't do this trade, Galahad. Tell Mark. When we were in the room, Barry thought it was too expensive at $700. Barry didn't do it either. Barry passed. I even said Barry was okay, I think, Friday. Barry didn't want to do it. He said it was too expensive, too expensive, wasn't worth it. Clearly, that was not right. It was worth it. What's the reason you didn't do the trade? You're careful? What is that? That's not even an answer. You're careful. Careful with what? Careful, what does that mean? If I make the call and I've been making great calls, careful. You think I'm not careful when I make calls? That's, that doesn't even make any sense. The stock gapped up. 
Stock gapped up here. Gapped up here in 226. I made the call. Trade was positive here. You had a time to take the train. You didn't do it. Was down the last three days. People hung through. I got all kinds of great emails Friday night. People were thrilled, excited, up. A lot of people got out of it Friday. I knew it would continue, and it did. This is still not done. 316.91, I didn't even see that it almost got to 320. It's still not done. You're not in it. It's too late. You, you can't answer the question. You can't answer for me, and you can't answer for Mark. So it's in your head. It's in your head. It's in your head. Friday was not the day to take it. Listen, Galahad, you're not doing anything I taught you. I never, never taught you to buy down gaps. I never taught you also to buy into support. You are not listening to the things that I taught you due to the class so many years ago, but you're not listening. You're doing other stuff now that doesn't work. And you're not taking my calls. And you're not listening to what I'm saying. Friday was not the day to take the trade. The stock gapped down on Friday. And no one could have predicted it made that move Friday. I predicted the move here in this day. You could not have predicted this would happen. It would have been a bad trade to go long this in here. It's stock gapped down. I didn't teach you to buy gap downs. And I did not teach you to buy support. You are not doing the stuff I taught you. And until you start doing that, you're not going to make money. And you're just going to see trade after trade after trade go. And you'll be stuck in the two of the ten that I call that don't work. And you'll miss the other eight that do. I never taught you to do this. This is not the day to do it. The fact that you even just wrote this in here means you don't, you're not doing anything I taught you. So I don't know what you're doing, but it's wrong. I, you know. This is not something that Melissa Armo taught you how to do. This is something Melissa Armo taught you how to do. And you had two things in your mind, money management rules. Again, it's something I told you, which you didn't listen to either. If you take a trade, let's just say you take a trade, it doesn't work, it's down. When it's down 50%, you can kill it. If you're down 50% in CMG, the money management I told you was kill the trade. Guess what? You're down more than 50% in this. You didn't kill it. You didn't kill it. So now you're in it. You're stuck in it. You're figuring, well, crap, I'm just going to stay in it, and if I lose the whole thing, or it's going to go till June. No. When you were down 50%, you should have killed the trade so you don't hang on to it for dear life. Any trade in these options that are down 50%, kill them. When we take a trade, trade they either go right away or they don't. If they stop out, we take the stop that's it. If they go, we get out with a profit. In the options trades, I taught you to get out of half, half, when you're down half. And if you didn't do that here, then you didn't follow the rules either. If you can't take a trade and hold it through for a long time, which I called that in February, February, March, April, May, June, I called that out for five months. I gave that a long time, and I still think the trade works, but if you're impatient and can't hang through with the trade for five months, then you need to know that about yourself and don't do the trade. That's the only one I called out that far, but I really have a big target with it. It has a massive target. Cut losers and ride winners. There we go. Mark didn't even do the class yet. He knows that. All right, listen. Um, listen, good, good group tonight. Mark P is saying take less size. It's probably something Galahad needs to do as well. But either way, I, you know, I would listen to me because the people that are are doing the best. <laughs> That's all I can say. Or, you know, do your own thing, and then I don't know what to say. Because this thing here, Galahad, is nothing that I taught you. And this was not predictable. It happened. Here, it was predictable to make the move by the 16th, which it did. But the day it would happen, I didn't know. But I knew it would happen before March 16th, which is happening. All right, have a great night, everyone. Thanks, Kathy, for having me. You're welcome.